Hey guys, today I'm just going to talk a simple video about uh, transfer of thermal energy. Okay, before that, just ask you to do a simple experiment while seated at your table. With your left hand, could you just touch the tabletop? Okay, and your right hand, touch your neck. Alright, feel it and right now, think about it. Tell me which one, which hand actually feels hotter. You in the corner, you are right, okay, you're probably, uh, your right hand actually feels hotter because uh, your neck probably feels hotter and your, your hand that's touching the table, so the table you think is probably colder, right? Okay, so why is this so? Okay, if you think about it, okay, your body as you know is uh, about 36, 37 degrees, but not every part of your body is the same, has the same temperature, okay, your neck is probably one of the warmest areas of your body, so probably let's put it as about 37 degrees Celsius, your neck, and your hand is probably a little bit cooler at 36 degrees Celsius. So, why does your hand feel hotter? Okay, because your neck is hotter than the hand, your hand actually feels warm because, as you can see, there's a flow of thermal energy. Can you see? Thermal energy that's coming into your hand. Okay. Oh, into your hand, your right hand touching your neck. Okay. What about uh, your left hand touching the table? As you just, as I mentioned just now, uh, over here, your hand is probably at 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the table, if you're in a normal room, regular room right now, probably is, if it's at 28 degrees Celsius, uh, your hand feels colder. And when something feels cold, it's probably because I'm taking away heat from your hand, okay? So you can see the direction of heat transfer, okay? Alright, let me just clear this up a little bit, okay? Just remove the hands, remove all the objects, just leave the numbers there and... Ooh, check this out. Okay, do you see any patterns here? Alright, as you can see, the direction of heat is always traveling. You are right. I hope you saw this pattern. Okay, check it out. It's, heat will always travel from a region of higher temperature, 37 or 36, to a region of lower temperature. Okay, so that's basically... That's one of the first laws that we learn in thermal energy transfers, okay? The thermal energy will always travel from a region of higher to lower temperature. In this case, all of the table is the same. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, I'll see you in the next.